Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm doing an energy forecast, but before we get into that, I just want to wish all of you a happy holidays. I wish um, that you've had a good Hanukkah. For those of you celebrating, I wish that you have a Merry Christmas. And of course, for those of you who observe the solstice, many solstice blessings to you all. I wish you all very well for 2023 as well, as I probably won't come on and do another um, energy forecast until next year. So let's talk um, about the solstice before we move on to talking about the new moon that's coming up on the 23rd, which is Friday. All right. So the solstice is an important part of our lives uh, from ancient times because it signals the endings and the beginnings of a particular phase. OK, so in the same way as we're guided by the new moon and the full moon in uh, in our lives and um, by the heavenly bodies, we have come also to uh, understand and to revere the sun as well as its phases and over times. Uh, in different cultures, it was revered in different ways. And so how do we look at it today? And how why is it significant today? So I would say that this, so this solstice that we ha are having now, whether you're in the winter solstice or in the summer solstice, whether in the northern or uh, southern hemisphere, um, you're going to have a, quite a similar thing in some ways. And I would explain how it'll be similar and how it'll be different. So it's similar in that um, what you've experienced in the last six months, okay, since the last solstice, which was in June of 2022, till now, has been a kind of uh, build up and a follow up in a particular way. And how, what it's actually brought to us is a greater understanding of who we are and what we want from our lives and um, just a deeper understanding of what is really important to us and what is it that we truly need rather than what we think we want or what we fantasize uh, about and so I think that um, as we go ahead in the next uh, six months in the next from now till June 2023 what we are going to experience whether you are in the Southern Hemisphere or in the Northern Hemisphere, is we're going to be experiencing a mirroring of this energy. So whereas this part, these last six months, was very much about ex excavating, we're going to be moving into a stage where we're going to be implementing a lot of what um, has been thought about, what has been dreamt about, what has been fantasized about, what has been visualized, and we're going to start manifesting that in the next six months. And so in that way, we are really mirroring what actually took place already in our lives, or what we've been preparing for. We can call these last six months the preparation of what is to be had in the next six months. And as, as I said, a lot of it has to do with understanding oneself better, understanding what one's motives are, understanding where one needs to be in life and how one will go about achieving that. Now, you might not have all the answers as it is right now, but you've if you've come through this journey uh, and you are the space that I'm talking about, then you will know exactly what it is that you require from life, what it is that makes you happy. It might have been that in these last six months has been necessary for you in order for you to understand or not to be afraid of what it is that you want. So that is one of the ways in which that energy would have exhibited itself, that it's about really trying to understand and accept what you are, who you are, and um, whether it's something that's um, accepted in this world, whether it's something that uh, is uh, revered or whether it's something that's dishonored. It was a time of coming to a space in one's life where you are just having to accept who you are and what it is that you truly want. OK, so for some of you who have been married uh, and perhaps you've been married for a few years only, you will find that uh, you might have found that um, it would have been a time where you're asking yourself, was it the right decision I've made? Am I truly um, am I truly meant to be with somebody in this particular way? And this is not coming, bringing into question necessarily the love that you have for that person, but rather uh, how can you function 
in a partnership. So that would have been one of the ways in which it would have reared itself. Another way in which it would have reared itself is that perhaps you want to do something that goes against the norms of society, that goes against what is expected of you from your community or from your family. And you would have come to terms with the fact that you uh, have actually, you are this person and that's just who you're going to be. And then you, and you're going to just continue with your life and you're not going to backtrack and try to be, try to mold yourself, try to panel beat yourself into something that is required of you rather than what it is that your tr soul truly desires. All right. So that another way in which this would have um, manifested itself is that you might have been fighting with yourself for a long time. You might have been telling yourself you want a certain thing. You want X, Y, and Z because it's going to be good for you, because it's going to be the responsible thing to do. But in fact, what's happened is that in these last six months, and I would say this would have been mostly experienced around October. So what you might have found is that you have come over that and you feel that is not necessary anymore. You don't need to do that. You can actually just simply be in gratitude for all that you have, for all that you are, and you can simply follow your heart's desire. So it's very much about uncovering what is your heart's desire. And as I said, the next six months are going to reflect for you what it is that you truly want and how it is that you will be going about getting it. So you will start to see, you will be putting into action certain plans or certain ideas that you might have had. You might have some ideas that come completely out of the blue. You know, you might have thought, you've never, you never thought you would do something like this, um, whatever that activity is. And then you discover, actually, I, I need to do that for myself because that is what is going to be what I need now to be able to go forward. So it might be something something that you've never resonated with, but then you've decided, okay, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and, and do that because that is what I need. So it's going to be very much that kind of energy that we come into, and so that is the way in which both the people in the northern hemisphere as well as the southern hemisphere are going to be experiencing this energy. Now, um, let me talk about those who are experiencing their winter solstice. I think that for many of you who are experiencing the winter solstice right now it's very much a time to do a spring cleaning. Okay, now that might be quite contrary to what you normally do or what is required of you, but it's very much about sorting things out, getting things in order, uh, getting rid of, uh, cleaning all the corners up, doing some cleansings and clearing in your home, as well as uh, just uh, setting the right tone in this festive period for the celebrations that will come, for the joyous occasions that you're going to have, as well as to be able to start anew as 2023 rolls along. Okay, now as far as, um, yeah, and that's one of the things I see, and that would be then accompanied by a certain um, understanding, greater excavation of oneself and what one desires, and just a greater feeling of uh, freedom. You know, you're going to feel a lot more liberated if you went into those cupboards and cleaned out that stuff and um, just, you know, made took everything out, cleaned it up, put back what is needed in the order that serves you. So I feel it's very much about a time where you're doing uh, that kind of housekeeping, that kind of um, clearing and and also cleansing for the home bringing in more divine energy bringing in more goodness and goodwill into your lives all right so for the summer solstice for those of you experiencing the summer solstice i think that many of you are on your way already that you've um done a lot of this already uh, perhaps you've done it in your springtime already and you are already on your path to be experiencing something that is um going to bring you to greater health, to bring you to greater understanding of those around you and what they're experiencing. You might feel more empathy. You might find yourself with those who are not as well off as you are or those who are in Ill, Ill health. And you might find that it brings you into a perspective where you're able to feel more gratitude and be of service to others. And I feel that that is a very important part of your life as you go ahead and now in this these next few weeks. I think also that you might have had a, an ailment that you might have had for a very long time and you might have thought I have to live with this. Maybe I've had it for 10 or 11, 12 years or just a few years, three or four years. But and now it's like you've, you've actually just discovered that you don't need to do that anymore because you've just went for one therapy session in whichever way you've needed to to get, to get that therapy, uh, whatever type of therapy it is, that is, sorry. And and then 
you've you've gotten that and it's sorted out your problem and it's actually going to be having a domino effect and be giving you a lot more good health it's going to be bringing you a lot of um benefits to your body and it's going to help you to rejuvenate yourself and replenish yourself and so as the days get shorter in the southern hemisphere you're going to be finding that even you you have even more energy than you've had before that you have you are able to sleep better that you your aches and pains have gone away if you have such things that you are more mentally stable and grounded that you've than you've been before and that your anxiety has contracted okay it's not as prevalent it's not you know, on your sleeve, you're not uh, being guided by your anxiety. Now, I think that one of the things that will come out of that is that you're going to find that for many of you, you're going to find that you've been probably guided by anxiety or driven by anxiety over the last four to five years. And if you, because of this kind of shift that's taking place underneath us, you're going to find that you are able to rid yourself of this anxiety. And as you do that, you're going to understand how your anxiety has driven you and how it is that you can now change your life or see your life differently and for the opportunities that are bound. Okay, because I feel that for many of you uh, in the Southern Hemisphere who are working with this kind of solstice energies, what you're going to find is that you have contracted in some ways. You've closed yourself off. You've narrowed your life quite a lot. And so now is the time for expansion and just being open and being free, being liberated in a different way. And I feel that this is going to come about as you realize that your anxiety has been hindering you until now. All right. So that is a very important way in which it will play in people's lives. Of course, it's going to play in a multitude of different ways. I'm just talking about the the ways in which it will play in, li- in people's lives generally. If you'd like to have a more um, private or... Um, um, private analysis of what your life will entail go ahead book a reading with me or with somebody else and get that information all right and uh, so um so that is what the solstice has uh, to offer i feel also just in world events in terms of things that affect us all globally uh the solstice is very much this solstice marks the ending okay of um of certain things <laughs> uh, i'm gonna get into that now and it's going to become and the, and the beginning of us of other things. So I feel that as far as uh, conflict is concerned, you're going to find that it has actually narrowed. Uh, well, it had it's reached a corner. It's turned a corner. Okay, and that things are going to either get very heated up, or in some areas where there's been some conflicts, um, you're going to find that the conflict just kind of dies down. So you, I'm thinking about what's happening between Russia and Ukraine. I'm thinking about what's happening between Armenia and Azerbaijan. I'm thinking about uh, various different conflicts in the world and they're going to have different effects. OK, so you're going to you're going to notice that as the time goes along um, in the world. You're also going to find that we've really turned a corner in terms of financial well-being as a planet, as a, as a global entity. And um, in 2023 can be quite a year. It can be a year of great uh, prosperity but it can also be a year of great poverty and so it really depends on what you're thinking and how you're feeling about yourself and how you're feeling about the world itself and how you what's your relationship to money what's your relationship to wealth well-being abundance prosperity and so I think that it's very important to actually feel that you have enough and have faith blind faith Okay, it's very much dependent on blind faith. That's what it is. It's having that blind faith that you're going to have all that you need, that you're going to be able to do all that you want to do, and then it happens, right? But if you if you don't have that, and if you are experiencing some kind of um, fear, uh, some kind of apprehension with regard to the um, the financial crisis that we are in, that is going to get worse. Uh, then I feel that you are going to struggle uh, a lot more. All right. Now, if this is hitting you directly and you are uh, struggling um, to have basics at this moment, I want you to please take a moment to appreciate every single thing that you have going for you right now. I want you to appreciate that you can still see, hopefully, that you can still breathe, that you can still smell, that you have the use of your limbs or some other um, device that is able to move you around that you are able still 
okay? And even though things might not be so easy right now, that it will become easier and it certainly will. And with that gratitude, what's going to happen is that your focus is moving away from the worry and the concern and it's just kind of the worry and the concern gets less and less and less, okay? And it becomes a non-entity at a certain moment. And then as you focus on your gratitude, all, you start to see everything, all the good things that come. And when you see that, you start attracting. You become a magnet. You start attracting things to you. All right. So you're going to, people start giving you things that you need. You'll find the universe provides for you in ways that you wouldn't ever have imagined. Okay. So just trick yourself um, and and do that. Follow that, that uh, advice. Pour into your gratitude as opposed to into your worry. And let your worry just dissipate and go away. Um, you... Cons being concerned about something or worrying about something is not actually going to necessarily um, make it better okay and what you could do is you could find some kind of solution after thinking about it but worrying about it is a different energy and so try to stay away from that and I tell you if you do that 2023 is going to be a breeze for you okay and if you don't do that 2023 can be a really hard year for you Okay, and this solstice that we have today is the, the corner that we've turned for that. All right. What else? I feel that some of you may start to experience better health than you have for some time. I feel that some of you might um, start to feel more in touch with your soul than you have been able to over the last few years. You know, we've had a lot of influences on this planet, which has worked at... Um, severing the connection between oneself and one's higher self or one's divine self or uh, the god consciousness and so you've had a lot of that over the last two to three years and now you are going to feel that you are able to get more in touch with who you are and uh, be able to pray be able to feel comfortable praying uh, more so than you've had before feel more connected to the uh, divine consciousness to god to angels to your ancestors it's really a, a wonderful time for that and there's going to be uh, like um you know what one could perhaps call attacks again that might try to severe that but i feel that right now is a fantastic time to go really deep in and to be able to um connect to you the divine that you believe in and that is closest to your heart and you're going to find that it's going to open up and just be pouring around you and it's going to be quite contagious as well and that brings me back to the other point is that for some of you you might feel that you've been kind of preparing for a big change that's happening in your life like these last three months or so has been about you preparing for that you might have felt that from the last solstice uh, till the equinox that you were kind of bewildered not really sh not sure of where you were, were at you might have felt that you're quite unhappy with your life you might have had some kind of um physical struggle you you might have felt not a, you wouldn't have been in your power you wouldn't have felt your strength you would have felt quite down and depressed about about the way things were for you and then as the equinox um as we moved on from the equinox in september to now you have been preparing you've been moving out of yourself out of that situation out of that rut and obviously that's not going to apply to all of you but if you have been experiencing that do write uh down below let me know about it and um it's something that um you you're going to you're going to feel now that we are at this point you're going to feel a lot stronger a lot more capable uh you might still have those ailments you might still have those health uh issues or those difficulties financial or those relationship issues you might have all of that still but you feel a lot stronger in yourself and that strength comes from your core and you know that with that strength with that um feeling again that you have that you're going to be okay and that it's going to be okay that things are going to change for you and I feel that you're going to see a lot of that in 2023 now the one thing I want to say is that you need to grab that and you need to go with it okay don't fall back into old habits don't fall back into that old energy because it's comfortable because it's offering you some degree of security because it's been there for you okay you need to like leave that behind sweep it away and just embrace 
and go for it. And, you know, take the bull by the horns and run with it um, in the next year. And that's what's going to help you. Okay, next year, the 2023 is going to be a year where you are going to find that you need to be quite impulsive in what you do. You need to not th spend too much of time thinking about what you want to do because by the time you think about it, that energy would have shifted already. You just have to do things. As soon as you've been given an opportunity, an idea, you've got to follow up with it. And I think that um, if you do that and you don't think too much and you don't worry too much, it's going to be a fine year for you. And, you know, things which are considered losses are simply material things. Nothing can take away from you, from you and your being and your soul. And um, even if you've been harmed or you've been traumatized in some way you will find that nothing can be taken away from you you just for a moment in pain and that can be healed and that can be worked through and you will be whole again soon all right so think about it like that and just keep a positive mindset for 2023 and it will work for you OK, and you can come back to this video in a year from now and you can tell me how it worked for you. That would be great if you if you did that. I'd love to hear your feedback. OK, so then we have also the new moon um, that's coming up on Friday, the 23rd of uh, 2022. And um, this new moon, I feel um, it's a, like an, a mischievous kind of new moon. It's got this naughty kind of uh, feel to it. And it's, it's almost like um, it's a smiling baby, you know. It's kind of um, preparing you to take action, to do things that you wouldn't necessarily do, to be able to enter the new year with a lot more vigor, a lot more um, freedom, you know, just be basically leaving whatever it is, um, abandoning the, you know, just kind of letting go of something like if you've been wearing this heavy coat for a long long time just kind of letting it go and just walking on there's also a sense that there's a lot of planning taking place there's a lot of things that are under the cover that are waiting to come out and there's a sense of being able to keep it under wraps until it's the right moment to share it okay I think also this new moon uh, might bring about some changes. So you might have been thinking that you're going to spend Christmas or the new moon in a particular, uh, sorry, the new year in a particular way. And this new moon is going to find show you that or this time you're going to find out that you aren't really able to do that, that it's um, it's things have changed. Plans have changed at the last minute. Somebody has become ill. Somebody has uh, decided that it's not a good time to do something. You might be expecting guests or you might um, who don't come. You might be expected to go somewhere and then you decide not to go there. So it might be quite a lot of that. Like um, at the same time, it's still going to be a pleasant time for people. And it's really what you make of it and how you go about um, enjoying this. I think on a, on a global scale, I feel like it's going to be a quieter time than one would expect. Um, and I think that... Um, it's just something that you can enjoy and allow yourself to go gracefully and um, in a sacred way into the next year. All right. So there's not a great deal of news about this new moon. Um, if there's something that comes up a little later, I will uh, post do, do a community post with it and you'll see it come up on your feed. Uh, but right now, I don't see anything that is wildly important. I see a lot of very different things for very different people. So but nothing general that I can talk about it here. Um, I think that this new moon is really, it's really giving you the courage to be able to do what it is that you want to in your life, and to be able to take the action that you need to in your life. And uh, if you have been preparing for it, or if you have been uh, thinking about what it is that you want for yourself, then all you have to do is take action as this full moon, as this new moon rolls around. OK, and um, yes, you know, sometimes it's about thinking about some things and not being clear about what it is that you want. And other times it's about um, just, you know, the, you've been thinking about it, you've been planning it, you've been feeling like doing it. But when the time rolls around, you just don't find the courage to be able to do it. And I think that this new moon is saying, hey, come on, let's just get this done. And it might not be something that everyone wants. It might ruffle a few feathers. It might um, be that you surprise a few people by doing what you do. But I think that um, 
that's where the mischievous part comes in. You know, it's like you're kind of hiding something that you um, want to do. Or perhaps you haven't, you're not even aware that you're hiding something. It just kind of comes to you. And then you find yourself in a very different path from the one that you are right now. Okay, let me know if that resonated with you, please, because that will resonate with a handful of people. I'm talking about an energy that probably affects about 15% of you. And so um, it's not necessarily going to be for everyone, but I want to talk about it because it's such a strong overriding energy. All right. I think that um, that is more or less what it's about. Yeah, and that is what more or less what we can expect for 2023. I think that we can expect a fair deal of upheaval, but we can also uh, expect a fair deal of things coming back to normal and uh, uh, reverting as much as it can to normality. Uh, I feel that there's a, are going to be a lot more truths that are coming to the surface than has that that which has already begun. Uh, uh, but you know, one has to be open to accessing that truth and to be able to see to see it and I feel that um, this is going to cause a somewhat further um, further division and uh, it can cause um, yeah it can be a time where there's going to be further division but at the same time I think that you know it's about reaching out to one another at the right moment at the right time in order to be able to heal and to be able to work through things. Um, I think it's going to be a time where there's going to be a huge overhaul in terms of the world finances. And you're going to find that new things are set forth in 2024 with a whole new um, financial system, um, with a whole new way of uh, thinking about the world financially. That's going to be rewriting uh, what has happened in the world from at least the 1840s or so. And so if you go back, if you know your history and you go back and you think about um, about that and you think about what's really happened at, at that time, then you will understand uh, some of what will be coming to an end and what will be rewritten in the world. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, good luck to all of you. And I'm wishing you a very blessed and healthful and joyous um, holidays and a very blessed and um, a very secure and um, healthy 2023 to all of you and your loved ones and your family and your friends and the world. Okay, I'm wishing you all the best once again and blessings abound from Kiss Rising. <laughs>